Richard, thanks for sitting down and chatting to us on I Follow Dale, a new director of the club. You must be delighted to be involved, man. Uh, well, first of all, Greg, thanks very much for, for inviting me to sort of put, put my face out there to the supporters. Um, delighted, surprised, probably like Simon and, uh, and Jamie were. A um, bit of a tough gig ahead for us, but I think we're the men that will hopefully drive the club forward in the, in the not-too-distant future. For the supporters who don't know you or don't know about you, can you just tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah, I've uh, I moved this side of the Pennines 40 years ago. Uh, I have a business in the town that's been here 40 years. Uh, I'm also a partner in other businesses within, within the group of companies that I'm involved in. Um, I was looking to start to slow down a little bit. I'm 65 now. Uh, Fridays were supposed to be my days off, uh, but it looks like now they're going to be probably spent here at the club uh, helping out and, and doing the little bit that I can and, and helping the club move forward. And of course, you've watched Rochdale fan for many years. What are your sort of earliest memories? Of uh, the my earliest memories were being dragged along here, um, really. Uh, I'd just got divorced. Uh, a friend of mine was a bit bothered that I was going to be sat at home on my own, uh, feeling sorry for myself. Uh, he says, come down to the Dale. I went, really, to watch that rubbish? Uh, he says, come on, you're just going to be sitting here feeling sorry for yourself. I came down, it was rubbish, uh, but it was the days of Graham Barrow, for those of you that can remember, old enough for, it, for you to remember. But week by week, as this club does, it gets underneath your skin and all of a sudden you become a fully fledged sort of fan and, and it's difficult to shake off. It's a bit um, it's a bit scary at times when you think you're going to, you, you, this, this little club that was is, is now moving in the direction that it is. And I'm glad to be part of it now going forward hopefully yeah fast forward all those years how did the directorship sort of come about how long was it in the making um i'd been asked actually a number of years ago by graham morris uh, if i wanted to come on the board um, but i didn't feel it was right at the, that particular time um i wanted to be a fan i wanted to sit in the stands in the wmg up there and, and watch the game and, and not have the pressure of other fans sort of uh, questioning your decisions good bad or indifferent and that drifted away, and then obviously when the, um, uh, the circumstances uh, were starting to arise that came up a few weeks ago, Graham Boris, Morris got back in touch with me again, uh, and he said, would I help out? I said, I don't know what I can do, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's where I live. It's now, if you like, in inverted covers, my club, and I want to give it a good go to see if we can salvage something out of you know, where we, we're perhaps heading if, if we had to step forward. What have the first couple of weeks involved for yourself and the other board members? Um, we're trying to get his feet under the table. We're trying to understand how, how the club works. Um, it's a business like, uh, like I have a business and Jamie has a business. They are businesses um, and they have to be run uh, as such. But we have to understand the internal workings of it. Um, I'm very impressed with the staff. All the staff are very friendly. The staff are very knowledgeable. The staff are Rochdale, if you like, people. So it's a case of just sitting down with them, seeing where we can go, tweak maybe the old one or two things, and, and hopefully get some cost controls in. Uh, fans might not want to hear that. Um, but I have a, probably a Mr. McCormick sort of outlook uh, to the business, and I'll try to not overspend. I'll try to not get past that pound. Uh, but we've got to make sure that we spend the money wisely uh, and not just penny pinch for the sake of penny pinching. It's obviously very early days in, in your stewardship and directorship, but where do you and the fellow directors sort of see the club going? What your short-term vision? Well, the, the short-term is to stabilise it, obviously. Um, you know, there's been a lot of unrest, um, a lot of fear of the, the, the board, I think, and, and where the old board was taking it. Um, I think Simon's uh, alluded uh, previously, we want to be as open as, and transparent as we can. Um, we're not going to come on these media platforms and tell you the players' contracts and who's, who's about to sign, who's about to leave. So we've got to keep quite a few things in house. Uh, that's obviously only to be expected. But we want to try and give the fans as much information as, as, as we th realistically can uh, without breaking any confidences um, as, as far as the club's concerned. And if you were to have a message to the supporters, obviously the season card sales go on, the season cards go on sale on first of July pre-season starts not long after that, and then we'll be into the uh, the cut and thrust of the football league season. What's your what's your message to the supporters at this moment in time? Just like everybody else, rally around us, guys. Um, 
buy your season tickets. You know, short-term funding is, is going to be difficult. Uh, we're hoping to put long-term funding plans in place going forward. Those long-term funding plans will include you, the fans. Um, it, the, it's shown the fan power at the AGM and the EGM, and we want to harness that fan power and, and, and harness the fans and bring it together back to what it used to be, the family club that Rochdale was always known to be. So the message is simple, guys. Dig deep, dig deep as you can. If it's not with season tickets, maybe with a share holding, if we, uh, a share issue if we get that far down the line, and uh, continue to support the club as you've always supported them. Is it fair to say that you're excited given what you've seen and what you, what you know that's coming uh, as well? I'm a very optimistic person as, as normal. I usually have a smile on my face. Um, I'm very optimistic that I think we've got the right team going forward now. Uh, and it won't be for the lack of trying. Um, you know, we, it, we will make the odd mistake going, going down the road. You know, we might hit a curb here and overshoot that corner there, but it won't be done with anything other than the best intentions for the club.